I am a survivor of the trauma that comes with betrayal and domestic abuse. I work with women every day, helping them to redefine beauty and walk in confidence as a lifestyle, because here is what I know. No one has the power or the authority to give or to take away your beauty except the one who created you. And he has already determined what's true. You just have to learn how to walk in it. This is the story of Sofia Giraldo, a 41-year-old mom of three who was deeply involved in helping victims of domestic abuse through her life coaching business. She recently filed for divorce from her husband and bravely shared her struggles with her toxic marriage with others on her podcast. Sadly, just days after openly talking about her own abusive situation, her husband would run her over with his vehicle, then get out and stab her multiple times, all while his children are watching from inside of the vehicle. Why would he brutally attack his kid's mother, and how could he commit such a horrific crime while his kids are watching? Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Queens, New York. Sophia Giraldo, a resident of Queens, was married to 37-year-old Stephen Giraldo. Sophia was a stay-at-home mom, and Stephen was an MTA bus driver and worked for the company for 11 years. Together, Sophia and Giraldo had three children. The couple's relationship was great at first, but over time had soured to the point where Sophia filed for divorce in August 2022. During the marriage, Sophia reported that she was a victim of abuse in multiple ways. As she found her voice, she decided to open a life coaching business so she could help other women who were in a similar situation. Sophia would also develop a podcast in which she would openly discuss the details of her toxic marriage in order to help others. She bravely shared her experiences, shedding light on the emotional turmoil and abuse she endured, providing a glimpse into the tumultuous dynamics within their household. Despite efforts to salvage the relationship, Sophie ultimately made the difficult decision to end their marriage, seeking to break free from the toxicity that plagued their family life. Sophia's life took a horrifying turn on Tuesday, December 27, 2002. On this day at about 5.20 in the morning, her estranged husband Stephen was parked across the street outside her home in Flushing, Queens, with his headlights on. Stephen Giraldo was caught on security camera parked and sitting in a white Ford Explorer with their three young children, aged 6, 9, and 11 inside. The 11-year-old was sitting in the front seat. Stephen parked across the street in front of her home, then called her and told her to come down. As Sophia walked out of her home towards the SUV that Stephen was waiting in with their children, Stephen instructed the children to keep their seat belts on then he deliberately drove the SUV straight into her. He hit her so hard that she flew over the fence. The white Ford Explorer then struck a wrought iron fence and fell onto the driver's side. Ignoring the safety of his own children, Stephen climbed over the 11-year-old in the front seat, climbed out of the window, and stabbed Sophia multiple times. Stephen then proceeded to call the police and said, I think I killed my wife. When officers arrived on Parsons Boulevard early Tuesday, Stephen told them, I hit my wife, arrest me. Sophia was rushed to Booth Memorial Hospital. The attack left Sophia with severe neurological damage, a broken leg, and a stab wound that punctured her liver. Though she survived, she remained unconscious in a coma and required ongoing medical treatment. The children were taken to the hospital but were unharmed. This brutal act of violence shocked the community and left Sophia fighting for her life. The incident highlighted the devastating impact of domestic violence and the lengths some individuals will go to inflict harm on their partners. A barrage of charges including attempted murder, assault, possession of a weapon, reckless endangerment, and endangering the welfare of their children. This brutal act of violence shocked the community, especially considering Sophia's dedication to helping others in similar situations. Sophia had filed for divorce months prior, seeking to break free from the toxicity and abuse within her marriage. Despite her efforts to navigate the troubled relationship and provide a stable home for her children, the situation escalated to a terrifying climax. Some believe the timing of the attack on Sophia Giraldo seemed dearly linked to her recent discussions on her podcast called Unfiltered and Free, where she described herself as a survivor of betrayal, trauma, abuse. Some believe that what she spoke about on her podcast may have been the motive for the attack. She openly talked about her marriage and labeled it as toxic, just days before the incident, Sophia had passionately detailed the breakdown of their relationship and her struggles with the emotional turmoil and abuse within it. 
In her podcast episodes, she recounted her personal experiences of navigating a life plagued by a toxic relationship, shedding light on the challenges she faced. Sophia's decision to end the marriage was fueled by a desire to escape the emotional unrest and abuse she endured for an extended period. Her candid revelations about the turmoil within her marriage painted a picture of a relationship spiraling out of control, with Sophia grappling with the decision of whether to leave. Despite feeling empowered to take control of her life, Sophia's situation took a tragic turn just days after she voiced her determination for change. Neighbors described Sophia as a loving and devoted mother, dedicated to her children's well-being. They were taken to the hospital with her after the attack. Stephen's actions left many in disbelief. His fellow MTA workers who came to the scene described him as a good guy. Stephen's family defended him, claiming he was not the violent person portrayed in Sophia's podcast and that he was actually a sweet and gentle guy. They asserted that he was attempting to reconcile with her and work things out, painting a picture vastly different from the one Sophia had shared with her audience. Stephen Giraldo pled guilty to attempted murder and was sentenced by the judge to 25 years in prison, with five years post-release supervision. A man who brutally attempted to kill his estranged wife in Queens just sentenced to 25 years behind bars. Stephen Giraldo told his three children to buckle up in their SUV, SUV and then he plowed into their 41-year-old mother, Sophia Giraldo, in December of 2022. But he wasn't done. He then stabbed her in the chest. Sophia survived but was left with severe neurological damage. He ran down his wife in a rage and, as Dave said, when that wasn't enough, he jumped out of the car and stabbed her in the chest. Yes, all of this while his three children were strapped into his SUV. So for all of that, Sandra, Stephen Giraldo was sentenced today to 25 years in state prison. The charge attempted murder in a case that goes back almost two years. Now, in court, he expressed profound remorse, but never offered a motive for the horrifying attack that left his wife Sophia in a lingering coma that exists to this day. The incident was captured on surveillance video, only a portion of which we can show on television. It happened on December 27th of last year at around 5.30 in the morning. Yes, the children were in Geraldo's SUV, ages 6, 9, and 11. He actually told them, as Dave said, to keep their seatbelts buckled seconds before he floored the truck and struck his wife. Geraldo pleaded guilty last month was sentenced this morning in Queens Criminal Court. You're going to hear from him in a moment, but first, from Reverend Chuck Brooks, Sophia's father. 25 years or a lifetime in prison or even execution won't satisfy my personal desire for vengeance for what you did to my daughter. Neither does it satisfy God's righteous demands for judgment on sin. But in the Bible, I'm told that I must not worry about that because God says vengeance is mine, says the Lord. District Attorney Katz expressed profound shock and condemnation for Stephen Giraldo's actions, labeling them as one of the most brutal cases they've ever prosecuted. The deliberate nature of instructing his own children to buckle up, then using the vehicle as a weapon against their mother, followed by the callous act of climbing over his own son to continue the assault with a knife, was described as utterly unconscionable. The district attorney emphasized the importance of holding Stephen accountable for his heinous crimes and ensuring that justice is served. By securing a lengthy prison sentence, they aim to provide some semblance of closure and justice for Sophia Giraldo and her loved ones, who had endured unimaginable trauma as a result of Stephen's violent actions. Stephen Giraldo addressed the court after his sentencing despite his wife not being there due to the severe neurological damage she suffered during his attack. I take full responsibilities for my actions that transpired that day, here today, to help bring healing to Sophia's family and everyone else here today. Again, please forgive me in the name of Jesus. To Sophia, I never would have thought this would be our new home. Please forgive me for this unspeakable, unfathomable, unimaginable hurt I have inflicted upon you. After asking for forgiveness, he would then go on a rant. He said, Sophia, I forgive you for not respecting me as your pre-designational husband. I forgive you for not honoring me as a good and loving father," he told a stunned Queen's court. The reaction of Sophia Giraldo's family to her estranged husband's rant was one of outrage and disbelief. Pastor John Brooks, Sophia's father, expressed the family's shock and disgust at Stephen Giraldo's remarks, describing them as appalling. 
The family was deeply troubled by the callousness displayed by Stephen, especially considering the gravity of the situation and Sophia's ongoing struggle for recovery. The aftermath of this crime left Sophia fighting for her life, her children traumatized, and a community grappling with the shocking reality of domestic violence. What happened to Sophia Giraldo was beyond tragic. She decided to remove herself from a toxic abusive marriage and help others by sharing her story, and it almost cost her, her life. What her husband did to her is unimaginable, and to try to take her life in front of their children is just evil. My heart goes out to her and her family during this incredibly difficult time. I send my sincerest wishes for her full recovery and continued healing. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.